Bonjour Ismaël. Bonjour Hanan, comment ça va Ça va très bien et vous Kabisa. Kabisa Baba. Kabisa means friend <laughs> in Swahili. No. Oh. Uh, And you know that. Kabisa is uh, like okay, just stressing uh, something when you say something and you just add an additional kabisa to say it's okay. On that note, let's go African <laughs> with technology. And Africa is rising and today we focus on some technological developments in the continent. First, we go to Tanzania where a secondary school student has built a robot that is powered by solar energy. Gracious Ephraim, a student of Elboru High School in the northern Tanzanian city of Arusha, was in the news last week for his robot. This robot can walk, turn his head, speak and perform other functions as directed by a remote control. Gracious said it took him 12 months to build the robot using local materials, including aluminum box, wires, tin containers, pieces of metal, and a memory chip for the brain. He told local media that the memory chip contains some recorded voice notes that are triggered remotely to make the robot reply to some questions and sing some songs. Guess how much it cost him to build a robot? Well, it cost him 200,000 shillings, which is approximately 89 US dollars. He basically financed the project on his own. For his motivation, he told the daily newspaper that I am trying to innovate things that can solve problems because for many years, science students in the country did not want to invent. They were all focusing on getting employed, but being a scientist is all about devising and making new things. Gracious didn't stop there. He also had the country in mind when he decided to create this robot. He said, Tanzania aims at industrialization, which means factories and other production lines must work 24 hours, but humans cannot work around the clock. So I envisage to have robots working at night and people during the day. This will also reduce the cost of paying workers overtime. Tanzanian students are benefiting from a robotics program organized by a Korean organization called E3 Empower Africa. They are currently training 30 students from two secondary schools in Arusha City to build robots that can clear roads, raise alerts during incidents, and then pick or deliver items. We will surely expect more from robots from Tanzania. And now to neighboring country Rwanda. This country is putting together smart classrooms and this is one of the fastest growing countries in Africa. In terms of technology, it is also evolving and developing its capacity. The government of Rwanda partnered with Microsoft three years ago to digitize the country's education sector. By the end of this year, Rwanda will get its first set of smart classrooms that will empower students with digital tools, practices and technologies. This was disclosed last week by Warren Lafleur, who is Microsoft's regional education industry manager for West, East, Central Africa and Indian Ocean Islands. He told the New Times newspaper in Kigali that by the year 2020, all schools in the country will have two smart classrooms and all subjects will be digitized. Students in all schools are expected to have access to the internet by 2020, as currently only 531 schools in Rwanda out of the 3,500 are connected. And now let's go to some Facebook news still linked to Africa. Last week, Facebook hosted its F8 developer conference in the United States, where thousands of developers and businesses came together to explore the future of technology. The annual event involved sessions, interactive experiences, and one-on-one -on -one meetings with the Facebook team. This year's F8, F8 featured African developers whose products and achievements were celebrated by Facebook. Among those who showcased their innovative products and services to the rest of the world is Ghanaian company Asoriba. This company has built a software that enables churches to better manage member engagement donations and attendance. Also present was another Ghanaian startup called Rankard. This mobile solutions company built rendezvous software that connects brands and consumers with highly relevant social recommendations. There were also many startups from Nigeria including Pass.ng, Trapa, Afrinoli, Quiz.ng among others. South Africa was represented by Gumtree and Kenya by Refunite. Refunite helps to find missing or forcibly displaced people through their software. The African students and developers present made the continent proud 
with their innovations. And I am proud, and I'm sure Hanan and Robert are proud. My name is Ismail Okwe, and this is SciTech.